Hey guys, Thrash Metalhead Banger here, back with a brand new video. Now, I have not uploaded a proper video in a while, so, uh, excuse if I sound a bit off, because I only did uploaded a cover just like a week ago, because I haven't uploaded for like three months, two months actually, because a lot has been going on and I haven't been at the time to, but now I'm back and I'm going to do this more often like I should have, but, um, anyways, I'm going to review an album today, just like the good old days, and, uh, so what the album is, it came out last month, it's the new Cradle of Filth album, Existence is Futile, released on October, I can't remember which day, on Nuclear Blast Records. Now, there has been a lineup change in this band, so, and it is the change of Lindsay School Church. Schoolcraft, I mean. Because <laughs> now we have a different. Someone different that is going to be filling her place. Annabelle. Now, she has big shoes to fill, and I think she does it great on this album. And of course, we have, um. The charming cover, <laughs> classic Cradle of Filth there, produced by Scott Atkins. Track one, the fate of the world on our shoulders. Track two is Existential Terror, which is my favorite, one of my favorites. Track three, Necromantic Fantasies. Track four. Crawling King Chaos, track 5, Here Comes a Candle, track 6, Black Smoke Curling from the Lips of War, track 7, The Scorps Between a Man and His Soul, track 8, The Dying of the Embers, track 9, Ash and Mortality, track 10, How Many Tears to Nurture a Rose, track 11, Suffer a uh, dom Dominion, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Track 12, Us Dark Invincible. Track 13, Systems of the Must. Track 14, Unleash the Alien. Now this sounds like a great... A lot of people do not like Cradle of Fills. I, I personally really like them. It's kind of a thing like Jimmy Borgia. People don't like it because... Maybe it's because of a mix of genres because they're mainly... Because they are a... Uh, Gothic metal band with mixed with symphonic black metal and modern metal, I'm pretty sure. But um this album I'd give an eight out of ten. It's a solid album. And yeah. That's all I have to say about this album. Sorry this review couldn't be that long and stuff, but um Yes. My next review, I guarantee you, will be longer though. And I'm gonna tell you what, and you'll. I'm not gonna tell you what that is, but you'll find out. This is the booklet. Great band photo there. So, yeah, that's a new album by Cradle of Filth. This is what the disc looks like. I bought this about a couple weeks ago, and I've been too lazy to actually review it, but now I'm finally getting to doing that. Anyway, so, um, yeah, New Exodus is coming soon, so you can expect a review for that. I was going to keep it as a surprise for you all, but I might as well just tell you anyways, because... They're like my second favourite band, just behind Megadeth. 
so yeah. And you guys tell me what you think about the new um, replacement for Lindsay Schoolcraft. Because honestly, Annabelle has big shoes to fill. So you should tell me what do you think out of this. I'd give this album an 8 out of 10. Let me guys know what you think in the comments below. And as always, stay brutal.